Hello and a very warm welcome to more exciting fight action from World Series Boxing, the innovative team competition that features some of the world's best Olympic boxers all battling for their respective squads and a precious place at the Olympic Games in Rio next year. It's week 11 of the regular season and our focus of attention is on Group A with two teams that have had contrasting Season 5 experiences so far. The home team Italia Thunder are currently fourth in Group A with a record of four wins, five losses and a draw in their 10 matches. They'll be looking for a win here on home turf in order to strengthen their push for a playoff place. The visiting Argentina Condors are currently rooted to the spot bottom of Group A with one win, eight losses and a draw to this point. However, their sole win of this season came in their out last outing in Week 10, so they'll be full of confidence and looking to continue their winning run here in Milan. We've already had the allora, pre-fight pomp and ceremony su Italia 1 questa of sera the teams meeting one another and exchanging pageants. pageants. Casa, poi an expectant crowd eh, on hand here in the discoteca Alcatraz in the northern Italia Italian city. La and in their push for a playoff place, the Thunder are rolling out a really strong team here in ah, Category C2. Three Olympic medalists represent the Italian Thunder squad. Two of them, Irishmen in the form of Paddy Barnes and Michael Conlon. And here is Francesco Damiani, iconic figure of Italian boxing. Victory will be like legendary Teofilio Stevenson in the amateur ranks. Uh, nel corso della serata. Been an instrumental and inspirational figure for the Thunder since their inception. Champions in season two, remember? Looking to get back to that glory match here allora, in season five. La dei due Always a good Mr. night out, wherever they stay for their home contest, the Italian Thunder. Milanese. Various cities around the country. Turf, they have defended fiercely. E allora la categoria di inizio è quella dei 49 kg di lost at home so far this season that came back in week 8. Prima di entrare, Azerbaijan back on fire to the moment 4-1 at this very venue. Aspettiamo anche qua che si accenda il Otherwise, tunnel di ingresso. Territory has been a fortress for the Italia Thunder. Making their way towards allora, the boxing ring now. 49 kilogram light flyweights. 24 anni. Well, what a test this man has. This is Junior Zerati. 25 years of age, ranked 8th in the World Series boxing standings at 49 kilograms. Has experience from season 4 about to contest his fourth contest here in season five. National champion at 51 kilograms back in 2008. And he's experienced various Aiba competitions as well. World Championships and Pan Am Games. He's facing Highly accomplished operator will be coming out of the red corner. Junior Zarati of Argentina up in the ring awaiting the arrival of his opponent. Allora dall'Irlanda. 27 anni. Here is the number one ranked boxer at 49 kilograms, Paddy Barnes. He's made such a wonderful impact for the Italia Thunder this season, undefeated in his five fights so far, standing on the cusp of securing himself a place at a third consecutive Olympic Games. Rio 2016 almost in touching distance, but he's going to have to maintain his winning run here tonight. Win impressively. Should be a third consecutive Olympics for the Irish. Curtsy of the ex-boys putting forth for the Azzurri of the Italia Thunder.
So a brief set of final instructions from the referee. Five three-minute rounds of boxing in a light flyweight division about to get underway. Second down. First round. Perhaps hear the voice of Billy, Billy Walsh, the Irish Olympic coach who is guiding Paddy Barnes through this five three-minute round bout in the light flyweight division. Opening match of this week 11 encounter. Paddy Barnes wearing the blue trunks trimmed with black Junior Zarate. The man in the sky blue shorts with the flashy silver trim. It's Paddy Barnes who has immediately set up shop in center ring forcing Zarati to circumnavigate the rope arena around the perimeter. Barnes has been such a dominant figure in World Series boxing so far. His reputation, of course, already preceding him with those two Olympic bronze medals. But he's been sensational. He's fought at a tempo that many of his opponents simply haven't been able to live with. And he's starting this one quickly tonight with a good long right hand to the body beneath the left elbow of Zarate. Right hand over the top wasn't too far away, but it was almost countered by a left hand from Zarati. Roundhouse right landed on Barnes's shoulder blade from Zarati. Good right hand lead, right hand lead again from Barnes. And it's a very quick start against this Argentinian opponent. Good work with the left hand from Barnes. Only halfway through this opening round, but there have been Clusters of punches thrown already from both boxers, particularly Barnes, who is setting a searing hot tempo here in the opening round. Fainting with the feet as he attempts to close the distance. Doesn't let his hands go, though. Good right hand on the break from Zarate. What type of swans will that elicit from Barnes? Zarate moving almost exclusively to his left, could walk on to the right hand of Barnes, which is a pretty potent shot from the light flyweight from Northern Ireland. Getting in a bit of a tangle on the inside. Zarate working away while Barnes was entwined in a clinch. Furious burst of punches from Barnes. A couple of left hands did sneak through during that fusillade. Good right hand to the body once again. Right hand response from Zarati was parried effectively by the bicep of Barnes. It's a good left hand from Zarati, though. Operating as a southpaw. Well, to conclude the first round, one in which Paddy Barnes came out of the blocks very quickly indeed. Looked to be the aggressor against Junior Zarate from Argentina. Get the jab, get it back to ropes, and then. It's a good counter right hand. Double jab, right hand. Zarate. Two anxious to try to take him out there too early, okay? Relax. Box. Okay? Steve, he's very open. There's nothing. Barnes has taken the opening round for all three of the judges using the 10-point muscle Second system down. here at ringside. Second round. So into the second round we go. <laughs> Billy Walsh was telling Patrick Barnes during the interval after round one that he looks as though he's trying to take him out with one shot. Just to settle down a little bit and pick his punches because Zarati is open. From Billy Walsh's point of view, there's a good straight right hand and another one. Ramming that out like a rapier out of that orthodox stance and it's finding a home on Zarate's chin. So 
the Rati continuing to switch his feet. He ended the second round, the first round as a southpaw came out to start this round two in the port side of stance and keeps switching his feet in between. You see it again. That could prevent present an unexpected angle for Barnes, but it could also confound and confuse himself if he doesn't establish his work and his flow in one stance or the other. He could find himself caught between well, two stances rather than two stalls. It's Barnes who is dictating the tempo once again against the Rate, man who was a national champion for Argentina back in 2008. 51 kilograms. Two-time participant in the World Championships, Chicago 2007. Lost in the first preliminary round. He was stopped in the third round by Nordine Ubali of France. In round three of this preliminary round contest as Barnes continues to pour it on here. Zarate wouldn't want to find himself pinned to the ropes as he was momentarily. Targeted to the body once again. The referee just having a word with Barnes that it must be on the front or side of the torso. Of course, if it starts to stray behind the back, it becomes an illegal shot, a rabbit punch. That's it. Work in the head now. Work in the head. Push your mic. Billy Walsh continuing to follow instructions. Good two-punch salvo to the body from Barnes. And tucks up tightly to defend the retaliation from Zarate. Zarati's second experience at the Aida World Championships it was in 2011 as Barnes misses badly with that lead right hand and that's perhaps what Billy Walsh was referring to. Barnes just perhaps eager to assert his dominance on this contest and not just score on but punish his man as well, loading up on that right hand. But back in back in 2011, Zarati made it through to the second preliminary round and beat England's Charlie Edwards, the European bronze medalist, in his opening bout, 17-15 and a tightly contested affair at 49 kilograms. So he knows his way around the ring, the Argentinian. Giving Barnes a few moments to think about. But another good round for Paddy Barnes in that second session. Trading hooks and sent to ring the two boxes during that exchange. So into round three, judges' scores not available for some reason at the end of that second round. From my vantage point, it was Paddy Barnes who boxed very well indeed, even though there were some furious exchanges. Barnes momentarily loses his footing but quickly regains his boxing stance. Zarati holding his hands up high to protect his head. Some of those shots from Barnes buffeting off the gloves and forearms of Zarati. But his body is rather wide open. Billy Walsh spotted that. Told him to break him down to the body, as he did there with that long right hand. Zarati comes back with a long body shot of his own to start his counter-punching salvo. Zarati continues to switch his stance. And now for the first time in a contest, trying to get onto the front foot, gives Barnes a little love tap as the referee separates the two. So no love lost between these two combatants. Zarati getting off first during that exchange. So much experience from Paddy Barnes. Only 27 years of age, but two Olympic bronze medals already and on both occasions. In Beijing 2008 and London 2012, losing the semi-final stage to the eventual gold medalist, Zhu Ziming from China. That's it, when you go show 
Walking the body effectively there, Barnes. Reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalist, back to back Commonwealth Games titles in Glasgow last summer in Delhi back in 2010. Silver medalist back in the European Championships in Minsk, losing to David Arapachan after being unable to contest the final because of suffering a nose injury in the preliminaries. So he wasn't able to add to the gold medal that he won in Moscow back in 2010. During that championships, Barnes was keen to compete. His nose was spread all over his face after sustaining damage during the preliminary rounds. And his response to the reporter when asked if he hoped to contest the final, he said, well, it's just a nose. <laughs> so he was keen to go in and try and secure himself another European Championship goal, but it wasn't to be as he scores with a good right hand over the top. Zerata tries to fire back, but Barnes parries and blocks intelligently. So Zerati's continuing to compete, but it looks as though Barnes knows just a bit too much for him in this light flyweight contest. Dropping his hands now, so much variety, so much skill and talent in his locker. And he's starting to demonstrate it up there in the boxing ring with the Discoteca Alcatraz. Another good round. Good left jab. Barnes just got a little bit of a graze by that left eyebrow. The Italian corner keeping a close eye on that. When you're tired, this is the one. This is the one when you're tired, okay? Seconds out. Fourth round. So into the penultimate round in this 49 kilogram light flyweight contest. Billy Walsh encouraging his man, saying if you are feeling the pace, well, this is why you do all of that training. This is where you've got to suck it up and fight your way through it. We've been unable to bring you the scores in this contest so far. Barnes took the opening round in unanimous fashion, but in rounds two and three, the scores have not been available. And they have been pretty competitive, but Barnes perhaps doing the more eye-catching work. Just demonstrating superior ring generalship from my van vantage point as he evades that shot from Zarate by dipping at the knees, bobbing and weaving in front of the Argentinian. Zarate standing his ground, he was southpaw, now he's orthodox, and that's a furious salvo from Zarate to drive Barnes momentarily backwards. So Zarate continuing to compete, letting his hands go with accuracy and fluency. Barnes being forced to cover up. And increasingly, this bout being contested and competed with burst of exchanges. Billy Walsh continuing to encourage Barnes. Big left hand board a cheer from the corner, but it looks a little bit long, but that's a fantastic left jab from Barnes, as well as his international, continental and global success on the medal podium. As Zarati fires back after taking a couple of clean shots from Barnes, he has been a dominant figure on the domestic scene as Barnes gets through with a good right cross, right hand lead that time seven times Irish senior national champion, including six straight titles from 2007 through to 2012. In boxing since he was 11, says that he lost in his first 12 fights, but he just kept going back to the gym as he gets through with a good left hook, right hook combination. It really is something that he's dedicated his life to. Zerati gets through with a right hand, but he's countered immediately by a right from Barnes. Just breathing through an open mouth there, Barnes, deep into this fourth round. But still, no noticeable decrease in tempo. So 
There's been a competitive bout this one. Plenty for the fans in attendance to cheer about. Zarate is playing his part in it as well, continuing to switch his feet from orthodox to southpaw. Now trying to bamboozle Bond, but he's a stiff left jab as he's switching stances. Just being beaten to the punch on the last couple of occasions. Bond dropping his gloves with a tiptoe teaser in front of Zarate just before the closing bell. with that eye-catching two-punch combination there was that crisp jab shot out from the waist up through the non-existent guard of Zarate in a flash landing squarely on the kisser of Junior Zarate for my money Barnes has been the governor up there for all three rounds we only only have official confirmation of the first round that went unanimously in Barnes's favour, but I think rounds Second two and three have been very similar, competitive. But Barnes, for me, has had the edge. In rounds two, three, and four. Beat the last round. So it's the final round we go, and Barnes starts the fifth and final session with a hard two-punch combination to the ribcage of Junior Zarate. For my money, Zarate is going to have to produce a stoppage if he hopes to move on to his third WSB win this season. Comes in with a three-fight record of two wins and one loss. The loss came in week three, his second outing of the campaign. Unanimous decision to David Jagodzinski on the road in Poland. His two victories have come at home. In week one, he outpointed the American, Nico Miguel Hernandez in unanimous style and was the lone victor in a match against Azerbaijan where the Argentina Condors lost 4-1 back in week 7 and that victory came against Mohamed, excuse me, Magomed Ibiev so to this point in the season he hasn't travelled that well Junior Zarate a very difficult task when in search of your first win to face a man with the pedigree and credentials of Paddy Barnes. Only one fighter will qualify for Rio 2016 from the light flyweight division. And it's Barnes who is in pole position to do so. One match to go after this for Paddy Barnes in category C1. So he'll stand right on the edge of Olympic qualification. Looks as though he's well on the way to accomplishing this part of his mission. Another furious front foot assault from Barnes. Zarate remaining composed, but there simply hasn't been enough from the Argentinian. Won his sole outing in season four. So his four fights so far in WSBs, he takes another swift left hand from Barnes. Record of three wins and just one loss. But unless he can produce that lottery punch, I think it's going to be two losses for Zarate. And a winning start for the Thunder here in Milan. Billy Walsh posed the question whether Barnes was tired, but the manner in which he's finishing this suggests anything but still letting his hands go. Burst of punches that blur the senses, they're so quick. He's a rough customer at close quarters as well. Ten-second clapper has sounded. And he's right back onto the front foot, punching furiously. So that concludes the opening contest in this Week 11 matchup. Junior Zarate just gets the glove before heading to center ring for the official verdict. For my money, Barnes did pretty much as he pleased throughout that contest. Zarate was competitive, gave him a few moments to think about, but this is the contest in microcosm. Barnes 
almost impervious to the punches that were coming back his way. Continuing his forward march and letting educated shots go from both flanks. And for my money, he's done enough to secure another victory for himself. Give the Italia Thunder a winning start here on home soil to begin this Group B encounter. Allora siamo pronti con il verdetto di questo primo match. Ladies and gentlemen, the result of this bout is unanimous decision. All the judges have scored the bout 50-45. And the winner is, by unanimous decision, Red Corner, Patrick Barnes. So for the sixth time this season, in six Uno contests in zero. World Series Boxing, Italia Paddy Barnes Thunder, has his arm raised Leonardo in victory. Zarate, a unanimous points winner Patrick over Barnes Junior Zarate, Zarate of the Argentina Condors. 50-45, he's taken all five Tere rounds for all three of the judges. Points. He moves to six fights undefeated, he consolidates his number one position in the rankings and he gives the Italia Thunder a winning start in the Discoteca Alcatraz in Milan. After one bout in the 49 kilogram light flyweight division, it's the Italia Thunder 1, the visiting Argentina Condors nil.